Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Orion X-T10 Plus uh, Dobsonian Telescope. Um, it's a nice big aperture 10-inch uh, reflector on a Dobsonian mount, and in the Plus configuration like this, it comes with a bunch of accessories, uh, like a little a package. Uh, so let's uh, kind of get in depth and see exactly what comes with it and show you the telescope. Uh, the first difference between the X-T10 Classic and the Plus line of telescopes is the, uh, the way that we uh, adjust the tension. With the Classics, it's a spring system, and it works perfectly good. It's just set at one tension, and it works for up-down. Um, but if you have really heavy uh, add-on uh, accessories, uh, maybe a really large finder, you might want to be able to adjust the tension uh, to fit your needs. So uh, there's a tension knob here on the side, so just dial it in to exactly what uh, keeps the telescope balanced and still gives you a nice smooth motion. Uh, now let's look at some of the accessories and see what comes with the telescope. For eyepieces, you get two. You have a larger two-inch low-power eyepiece, the Deep View 28 millimeter, to give you a nice broad expanse of sky. Uh, that's great for the brighter nebulae, galaxies. Uh, and then you also get a high-power inch and a quarter uh, PLOSL, a 10 millimeter. Now you'll get a two to one and a quarter adapter as well, so you can use both size eyepieces. And now you're um, at high magnification looking at the craters on the moon or the rings of Saturn. And if you wanted to get even closer, we include a Barlow lens, too. And the Barlow works with your inch and a quarter eyepiece to zoom in even uh, higher. So let's see, right now it's a 1,200 millimeter focal length. So you're at 120 power, 1,200 divided by 10. And then with the Barlow, you'd be at 240. So a great high magnification um, for really zooming in on the planets. The scope also comes with a collimation cap, as does pretty much most of our reflectors. Um, this take the eyepiece out, you put it into the focuser here, and that centers your eyeball so when it comes time to collimate the reflector mirrors, uh, this helps get your eye uh, nice and centered and tells you exactly when you're collimated. On the side here you get a finder scope, it's a, the, our easy finder, uh, it's a reflex sight, so when you look through it you see a little uh, dot floating in the sky. It, it couldn't be simple, you just put the dot over the object, look through the eyepiece, and there it is. Uh, there's some adjustments on the, on the dot so you can calibrate it with the main scope up, down, left and right, and then you also get a variable brightness control uh, uh, for if you just want the, a bright dot when you're trying to point it at the moon, or a fainter dot when you're looking at some, uh, some nebula, or looking for some nebula. And then you also get a uh, solar filter. This is a cap style, so you pull the cap off of the telescope, and then this fits over. It's, uh, it uses the Botter solar film, so this isn't that uh, cheap mylar which doesn't give you a very high contrast view. Uh, the Botter film is my favorite type of material for looking directly at the sun. Uh, high contrast, a neutral white color, uh, just a beautiful view of the sun. Uh, the 10 inch also comes with a deep map 600. This is a roadmap style map of the sky uh, with 600 of the best deep sky objects on it. It's printed on waterproof plastic so it won't uh, uh, do up and wrinkle and uh, shows you pretty much everything that you'd want to see in the sky with uh, something like this telescope. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is the uh, focuser itself. This is a nice uh, Crayford style um, two inch focuser and it uses a dual speed uh, mechanism on it. So you've got a geared uh, ratio. So the uh, one to one speed here, this is for fast focus, and then there's a 10 to one reduction on the side. So once you get close to focus, uh, and especially if you're at 240 power at the high magnification with the Barlow, fine focus is critical. So just adjust the small wheel here and you can get exact focus. Also on the side you can see some of the accessories that I've put into the tray. You get a, um, a little accessory tray with one two inch opening for the two inch eyepiece and then three smaller uh, inch and a quarter holes for your uh, other eyepiece, the Barlow, the collimation cap, whatever you wanted to put in there. Uh, and then after that it's just uh, your old standard uh, Dobsonian telescope. It just swivels up and down, left and right along the base. Really simple motion. You, you'd be surprised how fine uh, motions you can get when you're uh, when people come in and they ask, well, how does this? How can I actually follow something at really high power? Uh, isn't it uh, going to pull out of the field of view really quick? You'll see the motion of the sky through the telescope, but you just end up just doing little nudges with the telescope, and you bring it right back into the field of view, and then you let go and you watch it as it drifts through. Come back, nudge it again. It's really simple with a daub to follow things in the sky. It, it's my favorite way of tracking things in the sky when it's just me or me and a couple of friends. Uh, I don't have to polar align it like I do some equatorial mount. Quick and easy, it's a great view way to just start viewing the sky and, and, and have fun um, looking at nebulae, galaxies, and planets at high power. 
All right, well, there you have it. This is the Orion X-T10 Plus Dobsonian Telescope. All right, well, thank you very much, and clear skies.